Hey everyone, I'm Julia and welcome to Crocoblock channel. We're continuing the series of WooCommerce tutorials. If you haven't seen the previous videos, you can check the playlist of WooCommerce store from scratch. Today we'll keep working with the Jetwoo Builder templates and create a card page. As always, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications. And with no further ado, let's get started. First of all, I want to mention that I'm using our awesome dynamic WooCommerce template Zalden. If you like it as much as I do, or you want to dive deep into its cool features, there will be a link in the description box below. To start designing a card page, we need to add a template first. Let's go to the dashboard, Crocoblock, WooPage Builder. Click on Add New Template button. In the drop down list, select Card and name the template. Once you click on Create Template, you'll be able to style it in the Elementor editor. Well, by default it looks like this, just an empty page. But don't worry, Crocoblock has all the necessary widgets to fill it properly. Let's start with adding a section. This one will be for the heading. Let it be Shopping Cart. Style it and let's proceed adding one more section. For this page, I'm gonna use four Jetwoo Builder widgets. At first, search for Cart Table widget and drag it. This widget adds a table of products that the customer added to the cart. The table has five columns displaying the product's image, title, price, quantity, and subtotal price. Each row has a remove button and there is an option to add a coupon under the table. In the content tab, you'll see manage table. Here you'll find all the table items. You are free to add more, remove or change everything that you want. For example, let's unfold remove. I'm gonna delete the heading title for it and rename the next one into product image. By the way, you can also adjust the width of the columns right here. Action controls is to change the button text or disable the buttons you don't need. Let's proceed styling the table. Under the general, I'll just add bottom padding. Now table heading. I'm gonna set a text and background colors and also change the text font. Add padding to adjust the table heading width. Table cells. Again, set a solid border and this time set the width to 0 except for the bottom, it's gonna be 1. Select the color, lastly add padding. As for the image, change the width and proceed to the title. Style the text and set color, repeat the same steps with prices. Product count has almost the same settings. Add border, padding, and adjust the width of the quantity box. As for the remove button, I'll just change the font size and set colors. Lastly, we have apply coupon. Repeat the same steps that we did before. Let's keep label as we don't have one and proceed to input. Set the font and color, add border and at the bottom you'll find padding for the box size and input box width. I'm gonna set it to 185. Now what we can add here is a cart totals widget. First of all, I'm gonna set the heading text size to 0 as I don't need it here and then proceed to the table heading. Add padding if needed. Text alignment left. Table cells, the only thing I'll do here is set a gray color for the background and it's gonna appear right under the column with prices. Add bottom and left padding. Text alignment will be right this time. 
Price is to change the text font and color. And we have button. Nothing new here, just repeat the same steps that we applied before with the previous buttons. Lastly, open advanced tab. I'm gonna add some padding. To make the table background look more even, I will scroll down to the background and set the same color that I set for the table cells. The only thing that is missing here is heading. Okay, looking good now. Also, I think it might be useful for the customers to have a certain button that will bring them back to the shop. Let's search for a card to return to shop widget. Here you can add a custom button text and link. Styling options are super easy. Let's keep it simple. At first I'm gonna add a bottom padding and change the text font. Then set white for the background. And to make it underline, I'll just select solid for the border type and set a bottom width to 1. Don't forget to select the necessary color. To adjust its position, we can simply go to the Advanced tab, Positioning, and select Inline for the width. You can also add an icon here, let's say an arrow. Adjust its size and also set Inline for the width in Positioning. Great, we're almost done with the card page. To make it look complete, you can also apply card cross cells widget. In this block with one or several columns, the customers will see products that are related to the ones they already added to the card. Style it and don't forget to click publish. Now we need to create one more template for the empty card. Let's go back to the dashboard, again croco block, Woo page builder. Add new template. Select cards from the list and name it. This one will be much easier as we will be working with only two widgets. Add a section, then heading. And let's search for a cart empty message widget. Here is what the customers will see if they open an empty cart. Under the content you can add your custom message and then style it. Now let's add one more widget, a return to shop button. Again, you can add your custom link and text here and also style it according to your preferences. Click on Publish. Go back to Dashboard. As always, we need to set the templates to specific pages. Let's go to WooCommerce, Settings. Open the last tab, JetWoo Builder. Scroll down to the Cart section. First of all, enable custom cart and then select the appropriate templates for both cart and empty cart. Don't forget to save the changes and I think it's time to check the front end. Alright, as you can see it wasn't difficult. However, if you still have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section down below. That was it for this tutorial. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.